you know, there's such a big thing on women and menopause and their yeah. hormones changing. But when their hormones change, they can go get hormone therapy. Yeah. Shit, if you're a kid in America and you say you want to be a fucking woman or a man, they'll give you hormone therapy. If you're a girl, you say, I feel like a boy, the doctor will give you testosterone. But yet if you're an actual man who's fucking clinically depressed, oh, you want testosterone? Oh, no, no, I can't, can't give you that. Feel yeah, no, well, that's what you got to do. you got to go say, to the doctor say, and go, I'm a woman. I want to become a man. Yeah. Give me the the um the testosterone, and exactly. I'm going to need big doses. <laughs> Every time you um, go see, you put the wig on. Because <laughs> I know you, just, you don't need to. <laughs> there was a, I just get popped up in my feed, and there was a this this English guy did a, a video on TRT. Mm-hmm. Uh, he he wasn't that much into training, but I think late forties he got into it. He just took it for like like the training. or just took it for overall feeling better, well being. Well, he, he goes, he said he just found himself re- mm. really miserable mm-hmm. and he goes, I was just sitting there eating junk food, feeling like sh- like mm-hmm. crap and he's on such a s- small dose yeah. and, you know, now he's like right into training and I'm not mm. sure whether, I think he might have started training before he got on it but yeah. he's still feeling, he just said, I d- just didn't no, feel. Yeah, don't have that get up and go type thing. Yeah, just yeah, like, blah. yeah. And- not being like that and it's funny thing is like I told you, I had a friend that owns clinics in America we can get TRT, you can get growth hormone. And he said, the amount of guys that come in there depressed and yep. they're on pharmaceuticals like Ritalin and yeah, yeah, Prozac yeah. and all these other things that make you fucking more loopy. And he does their blood work and their testosterone is pretty much zero. Yes. He gets them off all the pharmaceutical shit. Yes. And he starts giving them testosterone. And within a couple of weeks, they're like new people. They're full of energy. They've got that get up and go. They've got that spark. And that's why you know, we always make fun of men, midlife crisis, because... Let's just say you are down, you haven't got the testosterone, and you're down, you're just miserable, you don't want to do anything, you're just like, oh, then you're like, oh fuck, I'll go buy a sports car. As you see these old guys in sports cars, then you're like, hey, hey. You know, for a couple of weeks, yeah, you're great, you yep. know, but then you're back to, oh, I don't even give a fuck. Or you get the older guy who, I'll oh, go get a young girl, or go get this, and you see these old guys with these young girls, yeah, for a couple of weeks, you're like, hey, look at me, I got this, then you're back to, oh. He gives them all a little bit of testosterone, even like 100, 200 milligrams every couple of weeks. He goes, you swear these guys are like young kids again. They're full of energy. Yeah. They're thinking straight again. They're, you know, they got that get up and go. Whereas before they were just like, I can't be bothered doing this. I can't be bothered going there. You're just miserable. You know, you just got no get up and go, which is sad because women go through menopause. Women can get female hormones like yeah. that. But men, even here in Australia, you've got to jump through that many hoops. Yeah. And that's really just what, I hate about Australia because there's so many things here right now about men and depression. You've got men's sheds, yeah. you've got Beyond Blue. So many things about men being depressed and committing suicide when one of the majority factors is they're so depressed and down the dump because their testosterone level is pretty much nothing. If they just fucking gave these guys a little bit of testosterone, which is a natural male hormone for men, as you get older you lose yeah. it, I can't see it being a problem. It's under doctor supervision. It's much better than the, all these other pharmaceutical crap that drives them mad because sometimes I've had people that have gone on them, the doctor might give you, you know, Prozac. But you've got to be on that for a couple of weeks or months before you know if it's working. In the meantime, you could be getting worse. Oh, okay, that one doesn't work for you. I've got to put you on yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. You, you get nowhere. You're just feeling worse and more miserable, more suicidal. I know more people I spoke to who are on that who said, fuck, I was suicidal before, but now I'm having more suicidal yeah. thoughts being on this shit. Whereas if they, like I said, they take them off and put them on test, you swear, like, like I said, they get, they're happy, they're eager to go out there. You know, they just got that bounce in their step again because they feel good mentally and physically. So I don't get why it's so hard for men to get these hormones when we know that it decreases over the years. So, and then you're looking for that spark to give you that lift. And during that can come from negative things. So. Yeah. Now, well, I guess my point was this guy was, he said he goes, I just felt miserable. I mm-hmm. just sit, sit in there, eat junk food. I yeah. think the, you know, you're probably not. Know, priest. <laughs> no, no, but like, it's all right. You're training now, yeah. how much cardio, you've got muscle mass on mm-hmm. you. But if you're just an average, oh, yeah. uh, middle aged man getting older, not training. Sit- and you do that. And the thing is, too, if you're depressed and you get fatter, then you get more depressed when you look at yourself yeah. then you're like oh fuck it i'll just keep eating and and it's okay to do that there's no law against that mm-hmm. but you know they're not going to study the bp whatever 157 or or um promote anything else and, no. and you look at this guy and you go oh wow he's like right into it and, mm-hmm. and um you know like a, a model 
average 50 year old guy like mm-hmm. if, if 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 50 year old guys look like him you know the the health system and all that mm-hmm. would be a different place would be more productive oh yeah yeah i just i just wish that they would um, yeah, but for men especially it's like they know how testosterone goes down and why you know there's such a big thing on women and menopause and their yeah. hormones changing but when their hormones change they can go get hormone therapy yeah. Shit, if you're a kid in America and you say you want to be a fucking woman or a man, they'll give you hormone therapy. If you're a girl, you say, I feel like a boy, the doctor will give you testosterone. But yet if you're an actual man who's fucking clinically depressed, oh, you want testosterone? Oh, no, no, I can't, can't give you that. To feel no, no, well, that's what you've got to do. You've got to go say, into the doctor and go, oh, I'm a woman. I want to become a man. Yeah. Give me the the um the testosterone and exactly. I'm going to need big doses. <laughs> Every time you um, go see, you put the wig on. Because <laughs> no, you, you don't need to. <laughs> That's the beauty. Like, you've got to use these mm. things to your own advantage. Well, you, you if you walk now. in there and go, I'm a woman, and he oh, says, no. no, you're not, you're a man, well... I don't feel like one. He's transphobic. Maybe I'm. my test levels are low. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, yeah. But then like I said, it's so sad that men can't get that, because like I said, there's such a big thing on men, men's mental health and suicide and shit. And like I said, my friend, when he did all these guys' blood, they like testosterone was way somewhere down at zero. Yeah. And no Prozac's going to make yep. you feel better. It's just going to mess with your head more because you're still going to have those underlying feelings if you haven't got the male hormone in you. So it's crazy. Well, you because you actually got to ask the doctor to. Oh, yeah. Like, and then they, then they, well, here in Australia, because when mine went really low when I was on the Oxycontin, no, but I you, just felt like shit. You have to ask the doctor to do oh, your yeah. testosterone. Oh, yeah. And some like, people won't even do it. Oh, you don't need that checked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta, yeah. Fuck, yes, I do. It's like, you're the doctor. I just want to get, even like, if you want to get like your PSA, which you should get done, because that can yeah. teach you, tell you if you're getting, if it gets higher, then check your prostate rather than getting the prostate check. You can just do the PSA level. So, but even stuff like that, I always say do everything, cholesterol, liver, kidneys, do everything yeah. in there, calcium. So it's like, yeah, but some doctors are like, oh, you don't need that. You don't need that at your age, or you don't need this. It's like, look, just fucking do it. What's yeah, it how costing do you, know? you? How do you know? Yeah, yeah it's like, yeah. I just want everything done so I can just see, you know? It's funny because I've had a lot of friends that say they go to the doctors, and when I told the doctor I want this, oh, you don't need that. It's like, you know, how do you know? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just do it. It's like, how hard is it just to write that extra? You're taking the blood anyway, so just I mean, fucking it, put it all on there. Like, it, it d- does cost extra, but I mean, mm. it's just like, um, what I tr- like, I found out that my old doctor wasn't doing all like PSA when no. I'm over forty and all <laughs> these different things, and the new doctor. So finally, I'll have like something I can track. Exactly. So then you know, okay, well, mm-hmm. um, um, this year I've done this with my training and my diet. And oh. this happened to my blood. And this, in this year, day and age too, it's like it can happen at any age. Generally, they'll be like, oh, you know, prostate after 50 and this and that. But there's been young men that have had it in their 30s yeah. and 40s. So you can't rule anything out. It's like, why not just check it, you know? Yeah. It's like, it's silly just to go by, oh, that doesn't normally happen to men. Okay, it might not normally, but there are those cases where people do yeah. get it early. So why can't I check? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, um, it's preventative maintenance and exactly. the whole thing's designed around um mm. by the time you get by time by the time you get it done at 50 <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh shit we had to caught this when you're 42 <laughs> <laughs> might, have, might have been having to save you but <laughs> fuck yeah yeah who would terminal have now <laughs> we don't normally see that in young kids that age well, i asked you to check it you said no well oh, sorry mate <laughs> we should have <laughs> yeah that's the thing so fuck i don't get it yeah the, the whole testosterone thing i just never understood it for men it could help so many men out just to feel good yeah. Give them energy, especially like you said, if you go to work, you got kids and you got that everyday life. You know, some men are just fucking depressed just getting through the day as much as they can. Then by the time they get home, they've got no energy to play with the kids or be nice to the family. They're just like, oh, don't bother me type thing because you just feel like shit. 